Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to do a viewer requested video and comparing two pistols that I have really enjoyed shooting. I'm going to pick which one is my favorite at the end of the video, but at the end of the day, neither one of them really are my favorite. Um, they're both equal in my eyes. One just has that little extra something that is going to kind of push it over the edge. If you decide to buy either one of these pistols, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have a great platform to upgrade, to use for competition or concealed carry, whatever the case may be. And realistically, I have categories for each of these pistols as well why one does better than the other in certain categories and vice versa. Before we get into that, my question to you is, what is your favorite upgrade to a pistol? Or do you just like to leave it alone? Some people just like to leave it alone. They say, why mess with it? It, it wasn't broken in the first place. And I totally understand that as well. But there are certain things that I just love to do to pistols. We'll be talking about some of that in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, I would greatly appreciate that because that's a great way to cuck the YouTube overlords, as Risky Krisky would say, and also uh, help spread the word and fuel that algorithm. Any type of engagement with this, whether it be thumbs up, thumbs down, comments, shares, are greatly appreciated and helps as well. Let's get into the video. I've talked long enough. First and foremost, let's start talking about the FN 509 midsize. This particular pistol has been a, a lot of fun to shoot. It's something that I was able to pick up from my local shop, American Cash Exchange. They are a huge supporter of the channel and I greatly appreciate their support. They had this as a used pistol and I was like, you know what? This has got a lot going on with it. Why not? Let's, let's give it a try. I've been interested in the 509 and I jumped on it. Now I've done a full review of this so far. We got uh, a video right here. I'll have cards at the end, but this has been a lot of fun to shoot. It's got a couple of different things obviously going on with it. And I've got about 500 rounds through this so far. I'm sure that there has been many more rounds through this before I owned it. Um, I can see some, you know, tender loving care on this a little bit. <laughs> but one of the things that I really liked about this is the fact that they have gone in, the previous owner has gone in and added things like a Parker Mountain Machine comp here, a Hollow Sun 507C, Vulcan, and then a Apex Tactical trigger as well. So they've gone through and really made this its own kind of new pistol, as you will. Shooting this has been great. Uh, shooting 124s through this makes it really feel like 115s and 115s feel even softer because of that break. That's something I really, really do like. Another great feature about this is the fact that uh, the midsize, which is what this is, will come with 15 round magazines. They're flush fit and those work very well. They have an ambidextrous um, magazine release, so you can drop it from the right side if you're left-handed or left side if you're right-handed. The other thing is it will also take the 17 round mags, no problem. So if you like to have extra capacity, if you would like to have uh, a little bit more room for your hand on the pistol grip, you can do that as well. But the other great thing is FN also offers 24 round mags and those go in there, no problem as well. So um, 
you have a lot of versatility to swap through the different sizes of magazines that FN offers for this particular pistol. So that's something um, you should expect from a high quality uh, polymer frame striker fired pistol like an FN or a Glock or some of the other ones that are out there as well. So um, what has been my overall experience with this? Been pretty good. Uh, one thing that I will say is I have really struggled uh, shooting this fast because uh, I have started developing training scars where uh, even though I'm right up on target, I can shoot 25 yards, no problem, slow fire. The moment that I start shooting uh, something like this or a Glock 19, I really start anticipating and driving that muzzle down. So I'm shooting a little bit low. That's all me, that's all training, I get that. So I can't really fault the pistol itself but I can tell you that between this one and the other pistol, I really kind of struggled with the accuracy on this shooting fast. So that is one of the biggest downsides to this particular pistol. <laughs> one of the other things that I would like to point out as well is the fact that this does have an Apex Tactical trigger setup in this as well, because one of the biggest complaints about the uh, FN 509 is that the stock trigger is garbage. I don't have any personal experience, but every person that I've talked to, all the comments that I got on this first video about this uh, pistol said the exact same thing. Apex Tactical is where it's at. It's going to smooth out that trigger and so on and so forth. Now, some other people have taken the stock trigger and gone in and polished things up and, you know, obviously put 500 rounds or so through it and it has uh, cleaned itself up quite a bit, but just going ahead and dropping an Apex, I would highly recommend that. However, that's kind of the problem. You're going to end up adding cost to this pistol to get it to a comparable spot for the other pistol as well. So with the Wheeler gauge, we are looking at about five to five and a half pounds on that trigger pull with the Apex Tactical. So that's going to drop it down uh, somewhere between that one and one and a half pound mark as far as it's stacking and break. But um, I can tell you that it feels so much better than the ones that I've kind of dry fired at the local shop, American Cash Exchange. So there is that. All right, let's get into the other pistol, and that is the Walther PDP. Now, this is going to be the four inch barreled version with the compact frame. So, 15 round capacity on the frame, and then, like I mentioned, the shorter slide as well. Now, the differences between this particular pistol are pretty minute as far as any of the upgrades go. Still has the Hollow Sun 507C Vulcan, still has a Parker Mountain Machine comp on the end. The difference is, is the 509 had a Parker Mountain Machine four and a half inch threaded barrel. This has a Walther PPQ four and a half inch threaded barrel on here as well. So the differences are slight, but you can expect, you know, having a OEM barrel in this versus a aftermarket barrel and the other. There might be some accuracy differences between the two, but they're probably going to be so minute that you're really not going to pay any attention to that. So again, we're running uh, kind of the same type of idea with this pistol as we are with the FN. Uh, magazine interchangeability is there. I only have 15 round mags for this, but if you have the larger capacity magazines for like a PPQ, those would fit in here as well. And I believe some of the Canic mags will fit in here also. I don't know that for a hundred percent, but that may be one of those things that you can check out on your own and let me know in the comment section. That would be great. One of the things that sets this apart, uh, I would say is first and foremost, how it feels in your hand. The grip texture on here is just perfect in my opinion. It is obviously not over aggressive, it's not under aggressive, it really just goes into your hand and sticks. Another thing that I really do like is they've extended the uh, grip texture up a ways, almost directly under 
the slide release, slide stop, slide catch, whatever you want to call it. Nobody cares. Um, so you're able to get that support hand really high up on this as well. So that's another great thing, uh, thing about it. One small thing that really kind of sets this apart from the 509 is the magazine release, uh, especially when we're looking at the frame. Uh, the magazine release on the PDP is going to be interchangeable, so you can move it for uh, a right-handed person to a left-handed person or back and forth, but you're not going to be able to drop the mag uh, from the opposite side like you can with the 509. 509 is fully ambidextrous. The um, PDP is ambidextrous, but there is some uh, work that you're going to have to do to make that happen. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to decide which one you like better. Again, uh, we talked about it, but the Holosun 507C Vulcan, I really do like this uh, red dot, especially uh, for individuals who are brand new to red dots and still trying to figure out where that dot is. That big ring around the uh, chevron really helps guide you in as to where that uh, red dot is supposed to be. So that's something really do like. Shooting experience on this has been fantastic. I actually shoot this a lot better than the 509. Um, again, I'm sure that that is training scars and issues that I've had moving from one pistol to another, you know, each and every single week. But at the end of the day, I do shoot this one better than the 509. Now, the biggest separation between these two uh, is the fact that the Walther is going to have probably one of the best triggers out of the box uh, for a polymer frame striker fire pistol that I think that you could find. I, I, the only other pistol that I think competes with this is the Canic TP9 series and at the end of the day that pistol is a clone of this one. So you're, you're talking you know, apples to apples, really. Uh, so the grandfather here is going to be a <laughs> better experience. With the trigger gauge, I am getting a consistent four to four and a half pound uh, trigger pull. So super, super light, feels really good, and about a pound lighter than the 509. So that is something that you're going to have to consider is if you are looking at buying one or the other, this one is going to have a fantastic trigger out of the box. You're not going to need to upgrade it. You're not going to need to drop in an Apex unless you absolutely want to. Uh, maybe you don't like the trigger shoe on this. You like a flatter face trigger. That's an op that's, that might be one reason, but realistically you don't have to. So if you really just wanted to add a comp you don't have to do that, but if you did, you could do that and the uh, red dot for about a hundred or so dollars cheaper than what you are working with on the 509. Now, here is the question. Which one would I pick between these two? And I can tell you that that's a really tough decision. This one has a lot of great attributes. This one has a lot of great attributes as well. If I'm looking to do competition shooting, if this is going to be a pistol that I use for competition, it's the Walther PDP every single day. I can tell you that 100% I would take this to a competition and I think I'd do really well with it. <laughs> uh, the 509 is still a great pistol. You still could run competition if you wanted to, but you might have to work on it a little bit more to get it to where you want it. That's just my opinion. Now, if you are looking for a carry piece where you're, you know, you've got your red dot, you've got a comp and everything, I, I think I would lean towards the 509 because it really conceals a little bit better. The PDP is going to be a lot thicker. So if you were to look at the two of these here, the PDP, the 509, you can see the 509 is slightly thinner and it just would conceal better in my opinion once again. Now, if you just set these down on a table and said, you've got to go do something, you got to whatever, you know, you got to pick one it's going to be the Walther PDP. Again, the FN 509, great attributes. 
uh, it has a lot of great things going for it and you're not going to be let down by this pistol. But just in my opinion, I prefer the PDP a little bit better. Incidentally, uh, the check from Walter still hasn't cleared yet. So I'm not getting paid to say anything good or indifferent about these two pistols. Uh, both of these pistols were purchased. Um, these were not sent to me or given to me. Nothing on these pistols were uh, sent or given to me. So um, this is as unbiased of a review as I possibly can make it. Um, but everyone has biases. So just take that as you will. But my question to you guys is, what do you think? Sound off in the comment section down below. If you had to choose just one between these two, which one it would, which one would it be for you and why? Let me know why you would want to do that on either of these pistols. So there you guys have it. There is my comparison between the FN 509 midsize and the Walther PDP Compact with some upgrades. At the end of the day, like I said, both of these pistols are going to be really, really great and you're going to have a good time shooting both of them. But in my opinion, you heard exactly what I had to say about it. And I'd encourage you guys to let me know what you think. At the end of the day, I would really appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. Any type of interaction, like I've already said, really helps the channel out as well. If you guys are interested in helping the channel financially, there's a lot of different ways to do that. One of the biggest ways is to become a member of the channel. You can do that from your desktop uh, or you can just give a thanks. If you wanted to drop a couple dollars in the tip jar, you can do that as well. That would greatly help on the cost of ammo to do these reviews for you guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks again. We will catch you guys later. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.